In this presentation, we're going to take the YouTube closed captions that are generated automatically for each video that's uploaded to YouTube and convert that to text that then can be used for a blog post or some other use such as the beginnings for a textbook or some other file that would be in text format. The ability to convert audio file or video file to text format in a quick way can save a lot of time and can be really useful for blog posts where we want both a video and or audio as well as text which can be helpful for SEO. This can also work for blog files as well but you'd have to convert it into an mp4 from an mp3 or an audio file to a video file so that you can then upload it here to youtube and then let youtube convert the closed captions and then convert the closed captions there's other types of formats that we can use in order to take audio or video file and convert it to text but i find the closed captions in youtube are getting much better and therefore they work pretty well and we can convert them using just Word and Excel, as I'll do here, although there's other formats we can use too. But we're going to keep it simple here, just using Microsoft Office products, just using Excel and Word. So once we find the video that we want to convert to text, then we can just go to the edit. This, of course, is going to be our video that we're going to convert here. And if it's not yet in YouTube, we'd have to upload it to YouTube and have to wait a little bit for YouTube to create the closed caption. So have patience. YouTube is creating closed captions, which is great. And therefore, uh, it might take a little time to do so. Once you're in the editing mode, you'll see this icon up here. The CC is the closed captions. So if we select that icon within editing of a video, we're going to have a default. It often makes you uh, select a default and it already seems to know what the default is. So I'm not sure exactly why you have to do this. So I do it every time. But there is that. Then we have the closed captions that are generated automatically. So we'll just select those closed captions and it'll give us a few different formats that they can take these closed captions. We'll see the closed captions here and it is possible to edit the closed captions, but our goal here isn't to have closed captions that line up perfectly to the video. Our goal here is to convert it to text for a blog or something like that. If you do want to uh, change the closed captions along with the presentation, other types of software can be useful in order to do that. But our goal here is to just have a starting point so that we can have our text along with our blog. So we're going to select these actions up here. And there's a few different formats that we can download this uh, text file to. And it's a VTT, an SRT, and an SBV. I find the SBV is the easiest for us to convert when we uh, have it in Excel. So I'm just going to go to this icon here. It's going to then download this information. Now I'm going to put it to the computer. We'll just save it onto the desktop. I'm going to keep the captions here just because I'm just going to copy and paste it into Excel anyway. So the name of the file doesn't really matter right now. So I'm going to say save it. And I already have something there. So I'm going to say yes. And in Chrome, it'll generate this file down here. And that's all we need. So we'll just open this file up. And here we have it. Here's our information. Now it's coded to give the time codes within this file, which we have to edit out. And it's also coded to have only a certain amount of text per line. So it would only have a certain amount of text per screen. What we need to do is take out those spaces and just edit that out. Once we do so, then we'll have some text that we can further edit. Now we're going to end up with basically text that has no capitals, no periods, and we'll have to go back through it and just read through it, add the punctuation. And I've looked at other software to see if it does a better job of adding uh, the deaths, the periods and the punctuations and the capitalization. And I'm not seeing it with the free software yet. So the closed captions work pretty well once we are able to take out the uh, timing and then take out the spaces. So let's go through that process and we'll see what we end up with. So within here, I'm just going to say control A. That should select the entire text. So then I'm just going to right click and copy that information. Then we're going to open up Excel. So I got Excel open and I've just made the A cell a bit larger here. So we'll be able to see everything. So to do that, I'm just going to put my cursor right between A and B and make it a bit larger. This is the only cell we're going to be working with. So I want to be here in A1 and I'm just going to paste this data. So I'm going to right click and just paste it. And there is our data. Now you don't want to click anything else because it's already selected. The area we want is already selected. In other words, if I scroll all the way down, I don't want to select the whole uh, column. It stops right there. I just want to select where the text is. 
So if I scroll back up, it's already selected. Now we just need to format this and we're going to use Excel's filter options to take out the timing uh, information and then we'll go over to Word and format it a bit more there. So to do that, we're just going to go to the data right here. We're going to go to the sort and filter and we're going to add this little filter item. Once you do that, you'll see something pop up here. So we'll hit that. We'll see this little filter, filter thing, little filter arrow will pop up. And once we have that, we can select the filter arrow. And I'm going to go down to uh, text filters, text filters. And what I want to do is get every, I want to find everything that has these timestamps. And one way to do that is to say, I'm going to have everything that starts with a zero colon because this video is not more than an hour long. So everything that has a zero is not going to be what I want. It's just going to be a time thing and I want to get rid of it. So we're going to go to uh, text filters begins with, and I'm going to say it begins with a zero and a colon. And then I'm going to say, okay, we're going to say, okay. And it'll select everything with a zero and a colon. Again, I don't want to click everything else because everything I want is selected already. Already. If I scroll down, everything I, that's there is selected. It basically hid the text that we actually want. Those are going to be in between. See how these are all hidden here. So the ones that are selected, we want to get rid of those. I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to select delete, or we might be able to right click so we can see it and delete. I'm just going to select delete. We'll say delete uh, rows. And there we go. So once we do that, it'll delete all the, all the ones that we had selected. It'll leave just the text then. Once again, I don't want to uh, click anything else because it has everything that I want highlighted. That's all I want to do in Excel. Now we want to go to Word and convert this from, um, from Excel to Word. Now because I used uh, the right click on the delete, uh, and not the delete button on the keyboard. It actually didn't select exactly what we want. It's selecting the entire column. Actually, it's going down to the to the same space we had before. So we might want to reselect it. I'm going to highlight just to the text we need and scroll down just to the text that we want so we don't have any added information, although it probably wouldn't matter. <laughs> and then we're going to take that. We're going to right click and copy that information. And then we'll go over to Word. So within Word, I'm just going to right click and we will paste it and just paste it normal, the first one. And so there will be our information. I'm going to scroll up to the top and we'll just format this a bit. I'm going to select the whole table. We'll select the whole table and I want to convert it from a table to text now. So we're going to convert it to text first. When you select the table, you'll have this layout tab in table tools. So we'll go to the layout tab and then we're going to just go over to the data set and convert to text. So convert to text. Now, when I convert it, we have these options of they're going to say, well, what do you want in between? Do you, do you want, you know, we have to put something in between where the uh, cells are. We're going to say other, and all I want in between is a space. So I'm just going to say, give me a space in between the text, and that's it. So we're going to go OK, and there we have it. Now we have our, our text. Now here, what we want to do now, it's not, we could format it even more than this. Notice these aren't in terms of sentences. They're in terms of line breaks, how much fits onto a screen for a slide. So what we need to do is, is remove the, all the spaces. Now there's an easy way to do that. We could go to the, I'm going to go to the home tab paragraph and go to the paragraphs here. And that'll show us these paragraphs. That's what we want to remove. I want to remove every time there's these paragraphs. When there's two paragraphs, I, I really want to replace it uh, with, with a space. So I'm going to select the whole thing again, and we can do that by saying uh, Control All. And then to do that, we'll go to the Home tab, Editing, Find, and then we'll go to Advanced Find. And we're going to find and replace here. We're going to replace all the paragraphs with a space. So we're going to go to Replace, and uh, to do that, we want to go to the more options down here and we want to select uh, a more option, which is going to be a special. It's a special item here. It's special. So we're going to go to the, the paragraph mark. So we want that paragraph mark and we just want to replace it with, once again, a space. So there's the space and that is what we want. We're going to replace it to all of them. So I'm going to just replace every paragraph with a space. And it says we did it to that many files. We're going to do it to the whole thing. That's fine. It's all done. 
So there we have that. And um, one last thing we can do, notice that it had to take out two paragraphs and then left two little spaces here. Every time it did that, that's two dots means there's two spaces. So every time there's two dots, that's we could fix that even uh, just to refine this down so we can go to uh, the same icon, go to find and uh, advanced. And then now what we want to do is go to every time it has two spaces, space, space, we want to place it with one space, space. So it doesn't look like there's anything there, but there's every time there's two spaces, we want to replace it with one space. And then we'll just replace all. And it did it uh, 292 times. And there we have it. So now we have that information done. And of course, now you'd have to read through it and just kind of format it uh, as, as you would like to see it. If we watch the video at the same time, we can then format it at the same time. And I think that's the way to do it because uh, then you can just, you don't have to make it perfect, but we just want to reformat the text and we can get the context by watching the video. So we can, you know, watch through this and uh, pick up the information and say, okay, that's what it reads out here. So we got to say, we might not even want the hello, right? We're going to say, in this lecture, we'll talk about the double entry accounting system in terms of debits and credits or something like that. I won't read through the whole thing here, but the point is you can go through here and uh, space this out wherever the sentences is, are and, and you can see that it it's not perfect, but it's pretty good compared to other types of, of software to actually, it's gotten a lot better at least <laughs> to pick up the correct words than at least free software that's out there. Other software, uh, if you have uh, advanced paid software you can kind of customize it to know your voice and your little quirks in your voice that uh, will make it more accurate but uh, that could take some time to do and as you go through this you can then go through and add images while you're while you're watching so if you have this video open uh, you can then um, go to your word document and just do screenshots I can say I want to pick up the same thing that's on the screen and say, give me a screenshot of that possibly. Right. And then you can get some imagery within your text as well. So when you, when you copy and paste, then you can have your, your images through from the same exact video, just by copy and paste. And by the way, to, to do that screenshot thing, you just go to insert uh, screenshot. It's in the illustrations and uh, I'm not going to pick the whole screen. I want to save the clipboard. And I just want, you have to have the window right behind it. So see how I had that other screen open right before I hit this clipboard, then it's going to go back to that screen. If it's not the last thing that was open, it, it'll pick up whatever the last thing was open and you won't see it. So we'll, we'll pick that up and then you're going to drag it to whatever you want to see. I'll just put a box around whatever I want to see. And there it is. So as you read through the text, we can, we can go through and add images. We could pull it from the original file, the PD, if my, in my name, in this case, the PowerPoint file, but, uh, and that might be better quality, but again, we could just use screenshots and just pick it up as we go through and edit this thing and then just copy this whole thing, put it into a blog. Well, a 